Hi guys, it's that time of the week again. So got some new new things to show you. So well, let's have a look. From Dora Wings. Now this company is just growing and growing and growing. They've got some lovely stuff coming out. There's a lot of new stuff just arrived. A couple of the ones to have a look at at the moment. This is the French Simeon, uh, Cordron Simeon. Uh, this is 148 scale. It's in the series of that uh, early war, post-war, uh, pre-war sort of aircraft, similar to the things like Proctors and, and all that sort of series. This is a little French one. This is quite a nice little aeroplane. There's a bit of a story about that a uh, whole lot of French troops escaped in one of these into uh, Algeria, I think it was. But um, so no, there's a couple of good markings in it. The Air, uh, the French Air Force did fly this uh, during World War II or post pre-World War II, <clears throat> but the markings aren't included. They're all um, civilian ones. So. If you're looking for a nice little pretty sports to go with the Proctors and that, that's quite nice. Uh, what else we got? This is the first of the Zversky series that they're going to be doing, the, the P-35. This is the Swedish version of it. Uh, this had the longer canopy, uh, uh, all the rest of the bits and pieces. Again, nice kit. It's 48 scale. Um, this whole series appears to be pretty good. I think they're doing about six different versions of the P-35, um, which is the forerunner to the Thunderbolt and the P-43. Um, nice little kit, not a lot to it, but um, it's a bit of etched metal and things like that. Next one, this one, it really caught my eye. This is a pretty little parasol French aircraft. It was a trainer, uh, pre-World War II, along the lines of the Steam and the Tiger Moth. It was that sort of uh, initial aircraft type of thing. Uh, went through World War II, was even flying around in the 1950s. The big thing about this, and it's not in this, this box, but I think they're going to do it. Um, this is the aircraft, if any of you know the movie The Blue Max, which is probably a very famous World War I aircraft. This is the aircraft that the guy gets killed in right at the end of the movie. This is the aircraft that they used. Uh, the scheme's not in it, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody does the scheme later on. Nice, it's a fairly big aeroplane, to be honest. It's, it's a bit bigger than a than a Tiger Moth, so it's quite good. Uh, lots of detail, all sorts of things, a little parasol wing, double, double uh, two-piece upper wing. Um, Dora are getting very, very good at what at their uh, kit manufacturing, and uh, as I said, so there's the markings for it. This comes, with, that's for a, it's for a civilian one and a couple of uh, French Air, Air Force ones. It also comes with a little bit of etched metal in there, so that's for your engine, your seat belts. Uh, a few other bits and pieces, pretty cool. Instructions booklet uh, is quite good. <clears throat> Gives you all the colour guide on the back and it covers brands like Tamir, Mr Hobby, Life Colour uh, and then just the names of them. Uh, there's no real history of the aircraft given in the instruction sheet but you know there is Google and all that sort of stuff if you want to do some more research. Uh, that's a Polish one I think. Yeah, that's a Polish one from the 1950s. Um, and then there's the different coloured ones. Quite nice there. So they're quite good. Uh, the instructions are pretty extensive. As I said, there's a fair bit there. So uh, nice engine detail. So you'll be able to uh, go to town on it. So that's quite good. That's also in stock. It's also 48 scale. The one I've been waiting for, and a number of people have been waiting for ever since they announced they were doing a P43 Lancer, was what they were they going to do the Australian one? Well. Firstly, they did because there's the box art for it. Um, Australia had, I think it's three, and they were flown by um, the PR units. So um, it's uh, quite good. The only real, f I've seen two photos of it. One's where it's on its undercarriage, the other one where it's crashed into some trees at the end of the runway by the look of it. Uh, these were fitted with cameras because so they became the PR versions. We didn't actually operate them as fighters. As I said, I think we had three and we ended up losing one and gave two back or something, although I scrapped one of the two. Um, again, usual instruction book from them. Nice big uh, colour guide listing there at the back. Lots of detail, as you can see. That's the decals and that. Uh, the decals are real printed, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but no, look, if you've already built one of their P43s, you know what to expect. If you haven't, it's really quite detailed. There's an American scheme, two Australian schemes, and um, American weird scheme. 
Uh, I think it was one of the uh, war game type colour schemes. But no, there's lots of pieces there. The parts for doing the Aussie PR one are in there. You can either have the covers on or off and have the cameras uh, fitted into the rear fuselage. The kit is reasonably good size. Um, obviously not as big as the Thunderbolt, but that's where its family resemblance starts from. So there's that. Nice clear canopy. Um, all the usual bits and pieces, props and stuff like that. The props are quite good. Very little flash on this thing too, which is good. That's all your, all your engine. Uh, how much of it you'll see in that cowling, I'm not sure, but yeah, there you go. Uh, undercarriage bays, so nicely detailed undercarriage bays. All these bits and pieces. Uh, what have I got? Wings and a one-piece lower fuse, uh, lower wing, wing, so you can get your dihedral and everything correct. Again, the detail's really nice. It's nicely engraved. There's, there's, it's rivets where they apparently there should be, and the reviews I've seen of it have been very good for the earlier ones. Um, I can't wait to get hold of one of these and do it up. It's, it's one of those old little airplanes that when I was a kid, I was trying to build the Air Force, Australian Air Force, and you couldn't get one. And if any, anybody who remembers the old beech nut kits, I did have one of them, and I almost gave up modeling because of it. But since then, we've now got a 48 scale one, and I will tell you that there is a 70 second scale one coming too. So if you're a 70 second scale modeler and you just want to stick to that, yes, you're going to get a, a decent P43. Um, not sure when it's due out, but it is listed in the current catalog. I wouldn't be surprised if it's before the end of the year. Decals, uh, as usual, US Army markings, but there's the Australian ones. I believe the colors are all, all correct, all the numbers are all correct. So uh, you can do an Aussie one. That's the etched metal. There's the covers for the uh, camera ports. Now you can have, there is a plastic cover which has got the bulge in it which shows the camera uh, in position. But apparently when they weren't doing photo reconnaissance, they, took the they put the cover back on and things like that, I believe. So that's all quite nice. Seat belts and instrument panel and a bit of grill work and uh, the cowling grill uh, flaps. So it's quite a really, really good kit, quite extensive. You'll have a bit of fun with it. And if you, as I said, if you're looking to build your 48 scale um, Australian Air Force stuff, finally we've got a P43, which I never, ever thought I'd see. I thought there was way more kits ahead of this. But Dora Wings really is looking at all those kits that you really, really never thought would happen, and they are happening, which is just brilliant. The biggest thing about this brand is that they're doing so much interesting stuff, and they've got so many plans for doing all sorts of pre-war, post-war, the aircraft that you wouldn't have thought you'd see. The biggest one for the Australian modeler is that they're doing a 48 scale Baltic Vengeance. They're doing two or three versions that I know of. I believe one of them will be Australian or have Australian markings in it. Looking forward to that. That's just gonna be excellent because if you've got the old AZ kit, you know how bad the work was and what it was and yuck, just yuck. This will be really nice. I'm looking forward to it. I've always wanted a Vengeance. I've seen the real one out at uh, Camden. If you ever get a chance, and you can talk them into letting you in and have a look at it. But it's coming. Dates-wise, I would suspect probably August, September is where I'm looking, I think, at the moment. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Don't hold me to it because with the vagaries of all the things going on, you never know what happens. So that's from Dora Wings. These are in stock right now. Uh, have a great day. Maybe catch up on the movie Blue Max so you can see, have a look at the aeroplane. But have a great day. Talk to you soon. See you guys.